Hi guys. So in this section, we will be installing the sample code to secure the application, right? That is the final step and then we will be able to integrate both the application as well as the key clock server. So we have our Wildfly server running and our um, key clock server both are running at the moment. So what we need to do is we have to quickly go to our download section. There are two ways to do this. I mean, uh, if you want to do this by Git, so you have to install Git in your machine and then clone that. But at the moment, we don't need to do cloning uh, using Git. You can do that in the docs. You can just find it uh, that the cloning option is also available. But for us, uh, uh, for the simplicity sake, what we will do, we will just take this. So what you do is go to the example section and there is a quick start distribution. So what they have said is you can just take this uh, zip and download it. So what you do is you just click on this and key clock zip start will be downloaded. So you can just uh, uh, download that and take this download and put it into your folder where in the key clock so you may have seen i have already extracted this so you also need to do the same thing in your key clock folder so in the root folder you just uh, keep this okay so you can do a git cloning uh, using your if you have your uh, git um, username and password sometimes it may ask for username and password the git clone um, can also serve the purpose but for now we are not doing the git clone uh, what you have to do if you are going you can go to the uh, command prompt and uh, type uh, git clone and then https uh, github.com key clock and key clock hyphen quick starts so this is key clock hyphen quick start that's what you can do there one more thing to remember as i said you key clock dot json should be lying in this folder so you need to make sure this is already residing here and then what you need to do is you need to go inside the key clock server after unzipping that file you will get the key clock uh, quick start come inside that and you need to find out the app profile so where is that app profile app profile z vanilla so what do you need to do is you go inside this and we can deploy this uh, by giving a command so what will be the command the command is simple it we are using maven in this case we will do a maven clean and then wild fly and just deploy so this will deploy that application in this particular application server and what we are doing here is uh, we are coming inside the app profile of uh, and uh, saying that please clean this and remember there are other files uh, also which is a bit confusing so make sure you are not going into app or z vanilla you have to go to app profile z vanilla and do the deployment okay now i will i have already deployed it but for the sake of uh, deployment i will do a redeployment which will uh, trigger this okay so this will take few uh, minutes uh, time just let us wait uh, for a few seconds and this will give you the clean deployment once this is deployed we are ready to test our application integration so you should be able to get this build success once you get this build success you are good okay so now let us go to the application and in the beginning as i said you the purpose of this was to integrate the key clock with the key clock example app or our vanilla app in our case so we have the administrative console we have attached the key clock authentication module in uh, from the vanilla you will be now able to log in through the key clock administration so that is the key purpose that you are decoupling the whole application authentication mechanism to key clock server okay rather than keeping everything say for example you have an ad authentication mechanism you have integrated that with the key clock you can do that 
and every time you are login it will be login through the key clock okay so your server has been completely decoupled from your authentication module okay so let us try this what we will do is we will just click on the login and here if you remember in the key clock server let me go to the administrative console quickly and give the password so why I'm going here I just want you to show then in our demo realm in our demo we have created our user so what is the user for me I have created an user with the name Shantanu and if I click on this I have provided some credential over here so you need to remember that credential what you have given and then you have to go back to your application just for the sake of understanding this I am saying but generally you will never come back to the admin console once it is integrated you will be signing it up from here so I will put Shantanu here and I will put the password which I have provided that time in the credential section and if I click on the sign in so it is built to log into the system so whatever your system is it will be allowing you to log in through the mechanism which has been already integrated through the key clock admin console and one last thing to remember is uh, uh, I mean I hope you have observed this so we are in localhost 8080 when we are opening the vanilla application when you click on the login you can see that it is redirecting to 8180 which is the authentication module and then when we are providing our username and password what is happening after signing in it is again going back to your actual application so that is what just uh, for your reference purpose and uh, you will be not confused with anything and how the authentication module has been decoupled in 8180 and how 8080 is running on its own it can be a hundred application which is integrated with a key clock server it will only take care accordingly but your 8180 port or whatever port you are configuring there that will be the authentication page okay always so in real life you may not see the uh, port numbers but the domain names but uh, that will take you to the uh, login page all the time okay so that is uh, the end of this particular section so we were able to integrate the key clock server with the wildfly server so we are good to do this if you want to do this for jboss server you can do this mechanism is same you just need to follow the whole mechanism what we have followed in a step-by-step -step process okay thank you let's move to the next section